Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Nightcap Gamer. My name is Josh, and tonight we're playing a little bit more of the Lord of the Rings Online. Al is back in Evendim, um, standing atop this fine, fine arch that has uh, unfortunately fallen into disrepair. Um, and the townspeople are far below. They just look like little ants to him. Uh, it's a nice change of pace. I mean, I, I think a lot of times Al feels just... Uh, too small, too small to take on uh, the world of Middle Earth. But um, up here, feels like he can take on anyone. He can do anything. Al, you can achieve your dreams. I believe in you. So what are we doing today? I kind of rushed off last time uh, up the hill and took care of some of this uh, journal stuff that was going on. Um, so today, I think we're going to... Uh, whoop! That was a close one. We're going to take a look at some of these other quests. Would you do something for me? This fellow here wants us to talk to Aragorn and Rivendell? Boy, that's a long way away. Um, I don't know if at this point I can pick up the epic questline again. I'm going to stick around here for a little bit longer and then see what's going on. Oh, look at this! Might I take a moment of your time? Talk to Palma Brownlock in the Forsaken Inn. So here's another, a, um... It's a class quest. Oh man! 15 agility! The Ghost Walker's Cloak. Oh, it's appropriately black, fitting for a burglar, and a and a nice little a nice little title as well. Cool. I'll pick that up. Man, I just wanted to point out how beautiful it is right now here on the shores of Evendim, Lake Evendim. Is that what it's called? I don't know what the lake is actually called. Am I wrong? Am I totally wrong? Somebody tell me. Stay a and learn of my troubles? Oh gosh, the riddle. Oh. I don't know if I want to do that. Look, there's this there's this island over here. There's a whole bunch of riddle stuff going on. I don't know if I even want to like bother with that. It's kind of a pain, really. Tomb Raider sashes. Yeah, we'll pick up that. That's some um, reputation. Greetings. Oh, I have enough Tomb Raider sashes. Oh, I have 28. Look at that. Awesome. Cool. I've got some some reputation. Look, I can buy stuff. Oh. I can get like set items now. The Lockmaster. No, I don't have quite enough. Oh, I need silver Arnorian coins. I have bronze and I have silver, but I don't I don't quite have enough. Okay. We'll come back. Uh we'll deal with that later. Um what was this quest? Stay a moment. Yeah, this, okay, so this is the island. That's the island they want us to go to. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Alright, here we are back at Pam Varan. And we are going to defeat some tomb robbers. Al, let's go into our sneak mode. You want to do some pickpocketing today, Al? Man, I haven't done it in a while. Let's try it out. Can we pickpocket this guy? No, I failed to burgle any items, but I have a new deed. Burglarize. Burglarize. Um, does Al? Oh, he does kind of have burglarize, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. There we go. One out of six. Oh, there's some wolves here as well. Um, okay, I need to pick up this chipped vase. It starts a quest. Vessels of history. So we need to collect three more vases. Vases, perhaps? Is that what? Is that how Al like, refers to them? Is vases? I don't think he's really snooty like that. I think he's a pretty down-to-earth guy, but maybe some, maybe some hobbits are like that. They say vases. But I think Al's like the kind of guy that just says base because he knows that's the right way to say it. Yeah? Are there any more vases over here? Oh, I see one right there. There's also a crumbling seal. Hmm. Let's pick this up. Oh. There we go. You have to inspect more crumbling seals. Also, Mr. Bill Tripper is hanging out, patrolling the area. Uh, I think there's a quest to kill him later, so I'm not going to bother with him right now. I'll just kind of avoid him. Um, and maybe we'll come back and, and seal the deal later on. What do you say, Al? Think that sounds good? I think that sounds good. So where do you think all these tomb robbers, like, come from anyways? Like, they're just, like, a bunch of men from the south or something that have, like, come up, uh, to Ebendim in search of, like, fabulous treasure or something like that? Is that, like, how do they even hear about this stuff? Or maybe it's just been here so long? I don't know. Is it like the gold rush? Is it like the gold rush where like everyone and their mom like went panning for gold or whatever? And that's like what they're doing here. It's just like everyone is so excited to like find some treasure in Evendim. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe it's just been going on for like a really long time. Um, but this is, I mean, this is the first time Al's ever been up here. And he certainly hasn't found like too much treasure here yet. Um, just a bunch of tomb robbers. <laughs> Alright, I'm all the way back here at Tinadir. I collected all the vases. I inspected all the ruined seals. And um, we're back. We need to turn in some of these quests, right? Is this one of the ones I'm supposed to turn in? No? Oh no, that's the secret club. Look, I don't want to do that, okay? There we go. We need to talk to Gurhebnir. Gurhebnir. What do you need? All right, we got some coins. Oh, look at that! Level thirty-three. Fantastic. Al's just man, just flying through the levels at this point. Um, there we go. Completed one more quest. Uh, now I guess we're off to uh, Pam or Nen, uh, which is another another area that uh, or Calway. What are we <laughs> sending us to? Um, so we'll go and uh, reclaim that as well, man. I mean, I mean, what else are we gonna do, right? Besides just like inspect the beautiful landscapes off in the distance. Oh man, it's beautiful. All right, I've just ridden my way over here. There's this like big statue right here, Kanadiak, um, and there's a stone marker. This is actually the beginning of the treasure hunt. Um, and so I guess we're looking for treasure. Looks like somebody's been digging here already, though. Um, it'd be nice if we could find our own treasure, but uh, it looks like. Um, we didn't find any, so we're off in search of uh, more treasure somewhere else. Um, and this quest line actually just leads us like all over the map. Um, so we'll just kind of do it as we go. We'll, we'll pick up the quest as we go, and and hopefully we can find some real treasure so that Al can like ride back home to his hobbit hole with his uh, pony packed laden down with um with lots of gold and jewels, just like Bilbo. Man, that would be awesome, just like Bilbo. And then everyone could call him like Mad Al. <laughs> Mad Alcott. Uh, I don't know if they would really call him that. I mean, I don't. He doesn't even have a last name at this point. We, I, I think we need to come up with like an, a last name for him. Uh, it's kind of necessary, I think. I mean, he can't be a Baggins. He can't be like a Gamgee, or a or a Brandy Buck or anything like that. We need like a proper like Hobbit last name for him. So if you guys can think up anything, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you what you think his last name is, because uh, I just have no idea. I I'm I, I have no idea. I came up with Alcott. The rest is up to you guys. Angmarim. Expeditionary. Um, he should have one of those like cool safari hats or something like that. No? Yeah, he's got a he's got a nice sword at least. He looks very evil. <laughs> he's wearing that like big robe with the hood. I mean, it's got to be pretty hot and stuffy wearing that thing, right? I mean, probably itches. Um, there we go. Did we get a quest item? No, we got a deed. What is this? Oh, it's a reputation item. Okay, let's um, let's drop something. Oh, I should have sold some of this crap. Oh my gosh. I have a lot of stuff in here. I didn't realize how much stuff I had sitting in here. What is this? No, let's... Oh my gosh, that looks goofy. Okay, let's get rid of that. We'll pick up the black badge. The reputation is always important. You should always be picking it up. Even if you don't need it for the character that you're on, I mean, it's always useful. You could save it up for your other characters, your alts or whatever. Or you could give it to a friend. If you're that kind of person that likes to give stuff away. I don't know if you are or not. I mean, Al. I don't know if Al does that kind of stuff. I mean, he likes to help people out. Maybe he maybe he would. Maybe he would give, like, the black badge to somebody else who, like, if they really, if they had never gotten, like, a badge in their life, you know, they'd never gotten recognition for anything. Um, and he could give him, like, a black badge and say, like, here, my friend, this is for you. Oh! Guy kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't ready for that. Look at this. That is a cool battle axe. I feel like that would be really heavy, though. Right? I mean, surely... Oh, there. He used two hands then. It kind of... I mean, wielding that one-handed would probably be, like, a little cumbersome, right? Oh, and he's got a mace. He's got a mace. I think I could handle that one, at least, but... Man, can you imagine how heavy some of these weapons are? They're just huge. They're huge, and they're probably like solid, solid steel or whatever, right? Um, I don't know. What has he done? He's done some kind of like he's cast some kind of spell on me. What is that? I've been chilled. We'll collect these orders as well. I think these are necessary uh, to find out what the uh, Angmarim are doing around here in Evendim. Is he gonna chant something? Chant some sort of spell at me? Come on, please don't do that. I don't want any spells, okay? Here we go, let's collect these orders. They have this nice bear rug as well. Can we just... Can we take the bear rug? 
Actually, this whole little ensemble right here, the tent and the and like the the mat, the wooden mat with the bear rug, uh, it's kind of nice. It looks pretty pretty cozy actually. I could I could see like sitting there. Why did all the lights come on? Is it evening? Oh yeah, it's dusk. Okay, let's 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 finish this up before we get uh we get too entrenched. There's a commander right there. So we've got to collect these two more orders and then we uh. Oh, actually, this is the last one we need to kill. I thought we had to kill 12, but we only have to kill 8 of them. Uh, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally okay with that. Um, and then we can run back to Tinadir and uh, let Orkalwe... Orkalwe? Orkalwe? I, I want to... Every time I say that, I think of a whale. Like, like, like Free Willy, remember? The orca? It wasn't SeaWorld, but it was like a place like SeaWorld, right? Defeat goblins at Tam... And Dalef, and extinguish the campfires. Okay, the ancient home of Great Smith, one who made the weapons for the line of kings themselves. That is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go take care of these goblins. Um, should we sneak over there real quick and do it before we call it a night? I think we should. Let's ride out of here. Ride like a bat out of hell. Oh yeah, there they are, Gramsfoot gougers. Oh, what a pain! What a pain these guys are. Always up to up to no good. Making trouble. What is this black stuff all over the ground? Is that supposed to be like tree roots or like evil growing out of this place or something? Man, it looks disgusting. It really does. This guy didn't even notice. The Harrier? <laughs> the Har the Grimsfoot Harrier didn't even notice I was attacking his friend. Um, maybe they were like in a fight or something though and he just like, <laughs> the other guy's like, come on, Bill. Bill, come on, I'm getting killed. And he's just like, nope. Nope. I'm still pissed at you. Alright. 2 out of 12. Look, there's an ornamental blade there as well. I remember there's like little like boggarts. Yeah, the boggarts are like patrolling around the area. If you pull them, if you pull all of them, you kind of get in a little bit of trouble because they're like, they swarm you. It's like those... Man, remember the movie World War Z with Brad Pitt or whatever? Was it Brad Pitt? And they like swarm. The zombies just like swarm. They're like insects or something. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was like pretty terrifying to watch those things when they're like flooding over the bus or whatever. That's kind of what the boggarts are like. That's kind of what I imagine the boggarts are like. Okay, let's put out this campfire. One out of eight, okay. And we're gonna collect some ornamental blades as well. I can do that. I can totally do that. Now, I think we can kind of sneak around here without pulling too many of these grand splits. Not that I'm too worried. I mean, I'm back in a position where I'm, like, uh, appropriately leveled for the content, so I'm, I shouldn't be in any kind of trouble at all. You guys didn't see this, actually. Off screen, I tried to do some of the more bingo boffin that was, like, I think the quest was level 32 at the time. I guess I dropped the bingo boffin quest by accident. That's okay. I'll pick it up later. Oh, I can't pick that up. That's level 90. Um, so I'll pick the Bingo Boffin quest up again later, uh, but I tried to do it and I just got destroyed, just totally destroyed. I died in the middle of the troll shaws and, and Bingo was left there, um, on his own, asleep next to a campfire. <laughs> I hear spooky sounds. There's spooky sounds coming from this like giant demonic totem over here. Oh man. Uh, am I gonna pull the Harrier? Oh no, he's too distracted doing his little fire dance. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, I have pulled the gouger though. Okay, let's take care of this gouger. Look, we only have five more to go. Four more, um, four more fires to extinguish, and two more blades to collect. Uh, so this should, we should be able to wrap this up pretty quickly. All right, we are all the way back here at Tenadir. Is this a new quest? Greetings. Wow, level 38. He wants us to go to Esteldine. Um. I guess we'll pick that up. We've already been there, um, but I guess we'll go back eventually. I mean, it's a nice, cheap, easy quest. What can I do for you? Yes, I've got the dull blades, and also I've been sent back here uh, because I guess I'm done with his little his little quests or whatever. Oh man, I can get some sweet boots! Oh yeah, Lockmaster boots. Could I speak with you a moment? Oh, we need to go to Parth. Uh, do we? Adweelal, Adweelal, <laughs> Adweelal, Parth Adweelal, okay, towards the North Downs, 
Um, yeah, we can do that. So next time, look, we got our sweet new boots on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 10 agility, 10 vitality. We did lose some vitality, but uh, I'm okay with that for the plus one agility. Um, I actually don't know if that's worth it or not. Uh, is the armor better? The armor's a little bit better. And look, the boosts that you get, well, might and vitality, might it? Okay. I don't know if that's better or not. Maybe the full set will be better. We'll see. Uh, but next time, we'll keep moving forward with our questing in Evendim. Uh, and we gotta go, like, way over here. Uh, so we'll do that next time. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Cheers! Cheers!